Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the build of this CNC router enclosure. For this project I use leftover plywood, MDF and some pine timber. I started off by cutting the legs for the table. Then I cut two identical boards of plywood, these are going to be the top and bottom of the enclosure. I marked 18 mm on all sides, I will place the legs inside of this area. This will give me the option to cover the bottom of the enclosure and create a storage in the future. I placed a piece of 18mm plywood underneath the legs while I screw them to the bottom piece to make sure that they are exactly the same distance from the edges. The timber wasn't straight, so I used the clamp to keep the position while I connected them. I drilled pilot holes and countersunk them to bring the screw heads below the surface. I had a board of 18mm MDF in my workshop, I used this to build two sides of the enclosure. I used glue and screws to secure the joint. Then I screwed it to the bottom. I placed a soundproof foam tape to reduce the noise level. For the other two sides of the enclosure, I cut some plywood sheets to build a frame out of them. I used only glue to secure the joint, clamped them and waited for the glue to set. When both frames were done, I screwed an acrylic sheet to cover up the gap in the middle of the frame. This allows me to see and monitor the router while it's cutting. This is a 2mm thick acrylic sheet, I will leave the link to this and the other products I used in this project in the description below. I secured one of the panels to the bottom of the enclosure and placed a soundproof foam tape on the edge.
I cut the top piece in two, a little bit off from the center. I glued and screwed the smaller one to the remaining panel. This whole piece will be the door of the enclosure. First, to make sure that the joint is perfect, I screwed the hinges on. Now that the door is opening perfectly, I could go ahead and screw it to the rest of the enclosure. Just make sure to not screw the door to the sides, otherwise you won't be able to open it. As a next step I installed spring loaded latches to be able to lock the door. To reduce the noise level even further, I applied silicone all around the joints. On one side, I drilled a hole for my emergency stop button, but I made a mistake and I did not calculate the thickness of the plywood, so I had to drill a bigger hole to be able to install the button. This was a bit painful, drilling a larger hole on top of the smaller hole will not give you the best look. Now I could go ahead and secure the bottom to the side. I drilled two additional holes for the cables that will connect the router to the electricity, lights and to my laptop. Then I used leftover from an older project to create a handle for the door. I also had this 12mm plywood sheet in the shop, I created a small shelf for my laptop underneath the enclosure. As a next step, I added LED light to brighten up the inside.
This specific LED light is connected to my laptop via USB and comes with a remote control. When it was done, I tested the noise level. The results are great, so as a final touch, I made a small shelf to keep all the tools for the router in one place. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment, like and share to help the channel grow.